Good morning, South Africa. It's Wednesday. You heard the jingle. That must mean it's time to do your taxes. <laughs> no, it's a calorie hotline bling. Ding, 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 ding. And as our amazing presenters have already said, we're talking everything pickled this morning. And I've got someone in the kitchen who's quite spicy. <laughs> he's, not, he's not pickled. But he, he's got all that. He's got all that flair, all that vibe. It is Sebastian Newman. Thanks for having me, man. Not just an amazing content producer, but he's also a trained chef and chef instructor. Am I right? What is it? He tells people how to cook properly. He does. He is the teacher. So I'm bringing him in the kitchen this morning. We also are taking on a challenge this morning. We're offering dishes to people, creating amazing eat experiences for those also don't enjoy fish or can't eat fish. We're pickling things this morning. And one of those people is our very loyal viewer, Lauren Oliver, who actually can't eat fish. And I'm pretty sure we've got a voice note from her. So before we get into that voice note, let me just tell you, if you want to have your say on the show this morning, we've got that magic WhatsApp number. And it's 063-408-8863. Send us your voice notes. We want to hear everything pickled fish related. Sebastian, the instructor, the man himself is in the kitchen and will answer all your questions this morning. Maybe some questions are even about food. Maybe about his personal life. If you want to know, Send those voice notes, but let's listen to Lauren's voice note first. So the story behind the pickled chicken is that a few years ago I found out I was allergic to seafood and shellfish. So in order for me not to miss out on the whole pickled fish thing during Easter, my mom decided to take chicken breast and do exactly the same that you do to the fish and pickle it as well. And since then, we've been making the pickled chicken for myself. And I've been eating it um, every single year as a substitute for pickled fish. Um, the way we eat it is at room temperature. We don't heat it up. So it's room temperature and we dip the hot cross, home, homemade hot cross buns in the sauce. Can we just talk about moms coming through for the save? <laughs> Listen, but also not just people that can't have fish, but also people like me that don't like pickle fish. I get you, general. I get you. I'm obsessed with pickle fish, I really am. But my sister as well, she's not a big pickle fish fan, so I have to make pickle prawns for her mm. every year. So let's talk about this recipe. Also, by the way, Lauren is like, I mean, I'm sorry, when it comes to viewers, she gets like top tier golden status viewer because Lauren's mom, Bernadette, Reading actually made. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. Lauren's mom made this for us. This is oh, her man. actual dish. And these are the hot crust buns oh, that made. her mom made. Half with fruit or the raisins, half without. I'm your fonty buns. Burner dead <laughs> reading. Let's do this. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna get cool. some more onions coming through. Now I'm gonna get the team to bring me some onions. In the meantime, let's talk about the chicken. Obviously, um, Auntie Burner did use chicken breast, mm -hmm. which I think is great because that's an amazing way to get the food. Done, it cooks really quickly. But breast is also pretty great because they absorb, they do absorb a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you to chunk it up. As you see, um, Auntie Bernadette, butterfly for us, but make it your own, Bass. Ooh, so you. let's talk about the pickling <clears throat> liquid. In here, I've got a pot. And this is, I, I'm, I like making my pickling liquid a few days before the time. I know that you don't really partake in the pickle fish, but at home, Whoever does make the pickle fish, when did they start the process? Um, I actually went to visit my parents yesterday mm -hmm. and they were busy with their pickle fish. I don't know if that's a bit too late, but I think three, four days is that's usually. Fine. I'm gonna go just half chunks like this. Um, but they love it and they make it like any time of the year. It's like if they feel like having it, my dad and his brother are like obsessed with seafood as well. So sorry that Lauren can't eat seafood, she's missing out on life, but like they are obsessed with seafood. So whenever they feel like a little bit of pickle fish, in the mixer. I agree, like you shouldn't limit your pickled fish experience to once a year. Mm -hmm. I've been having the Willie's pickled fish for lunch and dinner this whole entire week. The whole entire, just because I'm craving it and I know I'm gonna have my full on, on Friday, but I just love the flavor, I love the texture. Like that, when you, when you make it, if your house does not smell like pickled fish, I'm like, you gotta start again. And it's gotta like seep into the walls. You know, your neighbors have to know. But that's what I wanna say, which is quite weird. And people are gonna come for me and be like, you don't like pickled fish, but I really like the sauce. The sauce. So I think for me, it's the fish, like the mushy fish that lays in that sauce mm -hmm. for like days. No, I'm not sure no, for that. No, and that's exactly what we're playing on. So a lot of people are really big fans of the sauce, and that's why we are pickling different things. So the method, the same method you use with 
fish, mm -hmm. which is um, just braiding it and frying it. You can do with prawns, you can do it with chicken, you can do it with almost well, I think vegetables, I mean, yeah. You can do it with a lot of things, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I suggest people do do that. Instead of saying, no, hands up, I'm not gonna have pickled fish at all, get creative. Find an Pickle. alternative. Exactly. I'm gonna shout to the food team because you can't make pickled anything <laughs> without onions. So we're gonna get those onions. Let me tell you what I've got into the pot in the meantime. I've got brown vinegar. I mean, that's where you start, uh -huh. brown vinegar. And then we've got sugar because it's the balance between the, s the sour and, and the, the sweet. sweet. Brown sugar goes in, and then I've got the spice mix. You can either make your own, but what's amazing, you can now actually buy the pickling okay. spice mix, which I suggest to, just to do that, especially if you're new to the game. Use that, get that in there. And, and convenience is key, always me. I, I keep saying it every time I come here. I'm lazy, man, so convenience for me is key. Absolutely, so once this comes to a simmer, that's when I drop my onions in. I find if I add my onions too soon, they kind of lose a bit of texture mm. and they go a little soft. I like adding it in now, so we can actually still keep a bit of that crunch. So once it comes to a simmer, get your onions in. Bass, you can What start am I doing for you? Am I adding all of this spice here? Yeah, so what we've got is we've got, and that's a bit of paprika, a little bit of chili that's in there, salt, pepper, give that a mix. Don't have to fry it really hard all the way to cook it through. Because remember, it's going to cook a little longer inside the actual pick liquid. Lucian, come inside, bring us our onions. So the onions, of course, what you want to do is you want to slice them. Thank you, Lucian. <laughs> Lucian, you found a pickled fish? That's a yes. OK, so when you slice your onions, try and keep some thickness to it so it holds its shape a bit and doesn't just disintegrate into nothing. So how, what's that, like half a centimetre? Half a centimetre to a, to a centimetre. I do like my onions quite like thick. So you don't fry off your onions first, no. you just pop it in just like that. Just like that. Frying it will make it too soft, okay. too brown. OK, so we're going to wrap up now, but very quickly, very quickly. Cool. What can we expect at your house this Easter Friday, this Good Friday? Listen, Good Friday. So what we also did was because me and my sisters never like, really liked pickled fish. Uh -huh. so what my dad always used to do is make us like a, a seafood pasta or something like that, just so that we're still sticking to the tradition of seafood on Good Friday. But there'll definitely be hot crust buns, there'll definitely be pickled fish. My family celebrates everything with food, so they'll just be food, food, food. Food, food, food. And South Africa, if you want more food, 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 make sure that you stay, st <laughs> stay on your TV for the second part of the Culinary Outline Bling! Ting, ting, ting! ting. ting. Got that vinegar in my sinuses. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, back to another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Ting, ting, ting! This is our second and last installment of the Hotline. Yes, it is. And we're switching things up, like we said today. And Bass is back, and he's bringing through another pickled alternative. And I mentioned in the first segment that every year I make pickled prawns for my sister. You're doing pickled prawns I for us? I, I know, Michaela, this one's for you. Good. I love it, it's very fancy, mm. and I feel like if you really wanted to like impress your guests with an alternative, this yes. is the dish. It's beautiful. Talk me through the inspiration, talk me okay. through the why, talk me through the everything. So inspiration behind it is the fact that one, I'm saying I don't like pickled fish, right? And I think my problem with it is the fact that that fish soaks in there and it's just chilling and it's like mushy and it's not nice. <laughs> Everybody loves prunes. You see, it's all about the facial expressions if you go out there and the fish sits in and soaks in there. But uh, if you say, and the fish soaks in there. No. And it gets all nice. Yeah. You see, it's all about, but mm -hmm. I feel you. Okay, people are about the texture. Exactly. Yes. So, we've got a prune that goes through many stages. So you're gonna start that for us, right? So mm -hmm. we're gonna make a poaching liquid. So you've got the peppercorns, some five spice, salt pepper I think is there as well. Uh-huh. And then you pop that into there and then we've got a dry cider over there in that little jar. It's dry. It's dry. But you can drink it. Hey. Is it that? Is it that? Yes. So Ooh. if I don't have that dry cider, what else can I play you around can with? You can use like a dry white wine, sparkling wine, all of these things. Or just use a stock, like a fish stock, if you Got don't you. want to go the alcohol mm. route. So what okay. I'm doing over here for our onion pot, we've got some red onions. It's a bit hot. I've um, got some red onions. Uh -huh. And I'm mixing that with some red cabbage. And what we're going to do is make like a curried red onion and red cabbage, right? I so like to it. this, um, I added some garlic. I've got turmeric and curry powder that goes in there, as well as some um, whole grain mustard. Okay, Got so you can you. see we're just packing flavor. Yeah. So we're taking inspiration from a pickled fish, but we're just like bougieing it up a little bit because, you know. Yeah, I'm feeling the soft life. The soft life, yes. I'm feeling a little lazy, I don't feel like cooking. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna call in young Dominique to give me a hand. Dominique stepping in. Dominique. Apparently hey, Dominique hey. and Kian are really pro cooks. So I mean Dominique, we, we should we should call in your brother, right? Yeah. You wanna give me like the biggest I want you to actually like if you're trying to get hold of your brother at home and he's like at the other end of the house, I want you to give me the like how would you call him, but like with, with energy to that camera. Do it. One, two, three. Kian! Huh? There we go. There we go. And then Kian comes running because he knows. I mean, look at this. I mean, your dad and mom must be super proud today. You've done everything. You've given away 10,000 Rand. Wow. You've, done, you've been part of a race, and now you're cooking. No. Now you're cooking. Now I'm cooking. OK, so Don, what I'm going to need you to help me with first is, this is our pickling liquid. I've taken it off the stove, so it's not hot. You're not going to burn. I'm standing in between you. You're going to add all our elements, OK? And I'm going to tell you what it is. This is bay leaves, okay? OK? These are bay leaves. You can add the bay leaves into the pot. Then we've got peppercorns. And we're keeping it whole. I like that best. Mm. OK, because obviously the, the, the stock itself stays behind. You can add our peppercorns for us into the pot. All of it. All of, all of it? Yes. All of it. Then we've got, um, this is five spice. You want to give it a smell? Mm, smells like cinnamon. <laughs> smells like cinnamon. And I think is actually one of the spices in there. Give that a whiff. because. It smells good. It smells that aromatic. Smells, nice. it smells beautiful. You're gonna add that. Kian, I know that you are quite the home cook. Your mom's been telling me about all your dishes. If you have like a favorite dish that you love making at home, what is it? Chicken snitchels. I hey. love them. And and, and tell, <laughs> tell the story from scratch. Not from from scratch. That's amazing. And so, and if you had to say one of the best dishes your mom makes for you, what would it be? Is a chicken, I have no idea what it's called, it's chicken something completely <laughs> Is it is it fried? Is it grilled? What is it like? Is it sweet? Is it sticky? I have no idea. You know what? You know what? As long as you like I chicken. Ate it yesterday. It's chicken. chicken. I ate it yesterday. What what is it, Mom shot in the background? It was pork, actually. It was actually pork. <laughs> 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Salt goes in, then that cider goes in there. And what's nice about this dish is the fact that you're heating all of this up, so that's the, any alcohol that is in that side is it's gonna be baking. gone. You could also use a non-alcoholic side and get the flavor out of there. Prawns go in. Prawns go in there, cooks very, very quickly, like five minutes, right? Yeah. You're just quickly doing a quick poach into that liquid. What then happens is you cool that liquid down. So you take your prawns out, you cool it down. And then you're gonna add a little bit of vinegar to your um, gotcha. poaching liquid. And that's already and in you there? almost create like a pickle. Love. And let that prawns chill in there. So I know it's a lot of steps, but we're packing flavor and we're adding flavor into there, right? Love it. Then you've got some pickled, the sauce. You've yes. got the sauce left over. Then we move to Kian over here. Over to Kian. Kian. What yes. you're going to make for us is a pickled fish cream cheese. Ooh. Okay? So you've got some of the sauce here. You've got a whisk for me and some cream cheese, and you're just going to whisk that together. Okay. Easy. And this is the result, right? The result. I mean, the color's pretty amazing. And it tastes really nice. good. Because that sauce, you know, I'm here for the sauce. The tang, the twang. I'm here for the sauce. All right. So and that's about it, Clem. Yes. And then we're just going to plate this up. Oh, OK, then we, once it comes out of your pickling liquid, what you do is you pop them on a little griddle pan just to give them that little char, mm -hmm. little flavor. So, Bass, I've got one more job for you. You've been an amazing guest today. Mm. You're, not, you're not even a guest because you live here. I you do. live here. I so, do. I'm going to ask you. Um, Kian is a, an amazing chef, an aspiring chef. I'm kind of pushing mom and you into letting start his own cooking channel. We're going to make that happen. Can you please give him a plating class? And we're bringing mom in. We're bringing mom in. Mom's coming Thank in. You, mom. Mom. What can I get for you? Right. Hi, okay. mom. <laughs> All right, so we will. So you guys are going to do this together for me, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So what you're going to start off with is a spoon for you, Kian. You're going to take some of this um, cream cheese that you made there, and then you're going to just smear it on one of them for me. Okay. No? You yes. can go through? Go. Yeah. Cool. Them, I need those grilled prunes over there. They look please. beautiful. Thank you so much to the kitchen peeps out here. And then, Mom, we're going to top it off with a little bit of our... OK. Cabbage and red onion. Yes, please. Can Mom sing? She's got a microphone. Can she sing? <laughs> Mom can't... <laughs> Tongs for me. Tongs, here we go. Okay, Thank you. So, yeah. while they're busy plating, I'm going to ask you, is Dad a good cook? No. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> if only you could see Dad's face in the back. <laughs> He's George. But I know that your Dad makes some seriously delicious food. 
I heard about some of the food he cooks. Don't when it comes to the bride. I've never seen what he... Oh, but I think mm. he meant like in the kitchen. Okay, so uh, on the bride, right? Yeah, yeah, what is one thing, thing that your dad makes that's so absolutely good. amazing on, on the bride? Yeah. On the side or? On, on top I would of say... Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pork. Pork. Yeah. It might be the pork that he had last night for dinner, mm. South Africa. We don't know. But yeah. yes, your dad is an absolute amazing chef on the braai. Dom, Kian, you've both been great. Mom, thank you so much. Thank you, you and for letting your whole family entertain us today. South Africa has been absolutely amazing. Bass is just doing his thing. You've been an amazing guest. Thank you. We're gonna bring the kids back for the school holidays in June. We want to get more of that. We want to give it more bass. South Africa, thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed our, our alternative pickled fish. Have an amazing Easter. Spend all the time with your family, with your friends. Think of us.